Matthews K. Matthews Solar Mosquito Destroyer makes use of the smell from the septic tank to attract the mosquitoes. Once the mosquitoes get trapped in the device, the heat built up inside the device due to direct sunlight exposure kills them. This is a solar device that can trap mosquitoes and kill them. Matthews' solution is completely safe for human beings. Once installed on site, the unit priced at 1400 rupees has no running cost or cost of consumables. It just requires 30 minutes of direct sunlight and minimum maintenance. Uh, then we have to put the device uh, where there are house flies. Then the flies will uh, sense the smell from the device uh, of the food materials kept inside. And the flies will come to the device and they will uh, enter the uh, device through the uh, entrance provided. So once entered the box, they will be uh, attracted uh, to the transparent patch above the device, on the device and then the flies will go up and get trapped in the transparent roof structure. The device uses a simple technique of letting the biogas from the septic tank flow through the gas inlet tube into the base of the device. The smell of the biogas attracts the mosquitoes into the device through the circular inlet provided in the base. As the mosquitoes see the diffuse sunlight coming out of the top dome, they start moving upwards to investigate the source. When they enter the dome-shaped roof, they get exposed to hot air in the dome that gets heated by direct sunlight. They try to escape downward into the two side wings. This device is very helpful for common man because uh, uh, it, does need, it doesn't need any electricity or any external power source uh, for, uh, for its working. The greenhouse effect inside the chamber due to constant heating by sunlight dehydrates and finally kills the trapped mosquitoes. The two wings of the reservoir inside the solar furnace have been designed to collect the dead mosquitoes and for easy cleaning. This daily use technology has been selected for the FIKI DST Lockheed Martin India Innovation Growth Programme 2012.